All right, I got a bit of a confession to make. I was wrong. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. On this video, we're gonna be talking about foodie film. This is more of an eye opener, for me at least. Now before I can get into everything I wanna say about this camera and about Fujifilm in general, I have to give you guys my backstory on Fujifilm. This is not my first Fujifilm at all by any means. My journey of Fujifilm started with the X100S. That was my first camera that I ever bought that was Fujifilm. Fast forward, yada, yada, yada. I owned almost every Fujifilm camera you can think of, except for the medium format ones. I had the X100, I had the XE line, the XT, the XC2, XC1, XC2, XC2S, X-Pro2, XC3, XC4. I've had a bunch of Fujifilm cameras and I even shot commercial work with them. So I know a lot about Fujifilm cameras. But I guess that my problem was that back then I was using these cameras as tools in a much different, different way than what they can be used right now. And that was my biggest mistake. I knew all about Fujifilm simulations, but I never kind of really used them in my professional work. So fast forward again, a friend of mine by the name of Cameron Mackey, you may have seen his videos if you have ever researched anything Fujifilm. He got this camera, he made a review, and he said that he was gonna sell it in one of his videos. And I, obviously being his friend, I hit him up, uh, and I was like, yo, I'll, I'll, take it. I'll take it off your hands. And I did, and I am very glad I did. So before the camera got to me, I started researching about uh, Fujifilm recipes and I found this uh, interesting blog called Fuji X Weekly. Basically, this guy has a bunch of recipes over there about, you know, Fujifilm and emulating certain Fuji stocks. I didn't know any of this and I was blown away by the fact that that even existed. So even before I got the camera, I already knew what settings I wanted to put into it to be able to shoot straight up JPEGs on it and it was promised to me that they were going to look incredible and they did. And I'm going to be showing you these images that I have taken with this camera throughout the rest of this video so you can take a look at and I'm also going to share with you guys the recipe or my favorite recipe and it's something that I kind of like tweaked on my own and made sure that it was up to my standards for shooting. The recipe looks a little bit like this and um, that's pretty much uh, what I've been using and I've been shooting straight up JPEGs with this camera and no raw raw capabilities are insane but uh, I've been sticking to JPEGs just because they just look so good at a camera. I think I ignored the fact that they were so powerful in JPEGs because I thought in my mind that professionals had to shoot raw and don't get me wrong there's certain occasions where I will shoot raw with this camera and there's certain occasions where raw is needed necessary. I wouldn't even be scared to take this on a job and shoot JPEGs, to be honest. It's really, really that good. And if you haven't uh, tested out a Fuji camera, go ahead and do that like right now. It'll change your life. The way that I'm shooting with this camera is I'm actually shooting it like a film camera. I pretty much created a film stock inside of the camera. And the good thing is that it's still a mirrorless camera. Anything I could think of, I could change it on the fly and bake it into that sweet, sweet JPEG and come out with results, just like the ones that you're seeing right now. So, so far I've had this camera for about a week and every day that passes, I just love it more and more. And as a professional, it's seriously having me think twice about why even shoot raw? in the first place, when you can get a camera that can shoot this good, straight out of camera. Like none of these images that you've seen have been processed at all. They're straight out of camera. Why even shoot raw? Why? You tell me. Fujifilm recipes are a thing and they are very powerful and very strong and you can create some insanely amazing and beautiful images. I'm glad that now I, that I get to experience it and uh, and work with it. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions about this camera or anything Fujifilm, let me know in the comments below. If not, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.